on to week number four here in the spring. It is flying by, and now time for our top ten plays. Getting us started at number ten, someone we saw a lot in the winter. It's Jada McCullough from Caesar Rod. And this time she has positioning on the corner kick and going to get the header for the goal. Special thanks to Dr. McCullough for sending that one in at number ten. More CR at number nine. This time it's Jacob Buxton. Going to show you how to save a little lacrosse goal here. A shot laser, nothing but net into his stick and net. Good save that time by Jacob Buxton. On to number eight, Salesiana. More lacrosse. Salesiana, one of the top programs in the state year in and year out. Check out Matt Riley on the reverse spin move inside and then plants it right in the net for a goal. Matt Riley showing you how to score for the Sals. Now over to the St. Mark's and looking at Jaden Todd out here in center field. A phenomenal game last week between St. Mark's and Sally's. Jaden Todd going to try to track this one down. One of the great catches we've seen this year, able to track it down in the lights and slide and make the catch. Even more impressive in real time. On to number six and Jessica Walter from Caravel, and she is in a jam right here. One to one game. Bases are loaded. One out and she gets a big strikeout. Bases loaded again here for the next batter. Back to back strikeouts to get out of a huge jam for Jessica Walter and the Caravel Bucks. On to number five, more St. Mark's and more defense out of the Spartans here at Frawley Stadium. You're going to see Ben Anderson right here on a rope. What a throw. Guns down the runner at second base. St. Mark's would go on to win the contest and remain undefeated all the season. On to number four, a little Salazian. I'm going to show you how to score. Kalen Diggs, Dylan Mooney, and Rowan Nury all going to show you how to do it. a little back scoop pass and then one more and they're going to finish it. Great team lacrosse out of Salazianum and Diggs, Mooney, and Nury. On to number three, this one submitted by Denise Drummond. Smyrna here, a triple. This one already in extras. Drummond's going to step up to the plate, smack this one to right center field, and he's going to have a runner come around and score. Check him out. Is Drummond going to now get on his horse for three, and he's going to have a nice and slide in there safely for the triple, and the go-ahead RBI for Smyrna. On to number two, Caravel. They like to walk it off. How about Leela Rock? She rocks this one into right center field, and that's going to be enough to score the winning run for the Bucks. They look very calm and composed as she just won it for her Caravel team. On to number one, and Grayson Frost, one of the premier pitchers here this year in the state of Delaware for DMA. Check her out. That's going to be a complete one for her. A no-no for Grayson Frost. 12 Ks while you're at it, and a 2-0 shutout win for Smyrna. DMA, they're going to be tough to beat come playoff time. I'm Nick Allison Drini for Delaware Live Sports.